Okay, so while I've been testing the two different uh, water cooling solutions against each other, I thought about trying and showcasing the Elmer Labs PMD or the power measurement device. So currently it's measuring the total power consumption of the two EPS 12 volt 8 pin uh, power cables from the power supply. So those are the two uh, CPU 8 pin uh, power connectors that come from the power supply. And then from this side of the unit, they are routed to the motherboard. So uh, you can control this unit by using this button over here to measure different aspects of the unit. So uh, that's EPS1. So this connector over here, we have 150 watts roughly, 12.3 volts and 12.1, 12.2 amps. Then EPS2, almost the same, 100, 142 watts and 12.3 volts, 11.5 amps. And then power around 290 watts. So remember that value roughly. So if we go uh, to the uh, desktop over here at the core temp, core temp is measuring uh, 236.6 watts or 237. So I think that value over at the Elmer Labs PMD is measuring the real value with uh, the switching losses included. Although motherboard VRMs, they don't have that much efficiency issues like power supplies. So uh, the uh, efficiency uh, losses should be very minimal. Like uh, when the 12 volt from the power supply is transformed into lower voltage values used by the CPU. And uh, computer processors, they should get all of their power pretty much from the uh, uh, 8-pin power connectors. So uh, CPUs, they don't really get power from the motherboard's 24-pin uh, connection. So uh, if we uh, remember that roughly 290, let's uh, fire up AVX. So uh, let's close the test or stop it. Options, torture test. And let's put small FFT with AVX1. So here now we have 310 or 311 watts. And here we have 375, almost 380 watts. So there's like a 60 watt difference. So it's actually quite, quite a lot, but I'm definitely going to trust this value more than any reading given by any software like CoreTemp or so on. So any professional uh, reviewer like IOTech, Gamers Nexus, Chase 2 cents they should include a device like this uh, into their wares to measure the total power consumption of a target device in a lot more sophisticated way than using something like that that measures the uh, the total power consumption of the whole PC. This is a lot better way of doing it, trust me. So uh, since we had uh, quite a low difference between uh, AVX1 and AVX2 in our testing with the 10900K, we can now confirm it with the same device. So between 370 and 380 watts with AVX1. Let's close or we'll stop the test once again. Options, torture test, small FFT, and all of the AVX. Okay, so here 315 watts roughly. And here we have between 380 and 390 watts. So, so a very minimal increase in the end. EPS1 is uh, 190 to 200 watts, around 16 amps. EPS2, 190, close to 190 watts, 185, close to 190 watts, a bit over 15 amps. And again, you could measure the total power consumption of a graphics card, like single 3090 or 2080 Ti with this uh, unit. So if you had like a huge mining rig, you, you could go through every individual card with this unit and check out their power consumption. So you could measure like the uh, efficiency values of the, of the cards and like energy costs and so on. So I really like this unit and it doesn't really cost that much, only like $45 at elmorelabs.com. So uh, if this item got you interested in, then definitely 
check out the product page of this unit. I will uh, include it in the description box of this video. And if you like to see this item showcased like this, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.